Hi, I'm Kat Weixel from Pate Group, and today I have a SharePoint tip to share with you. I want to show you a new feature that's rolling out in SharePoint. It's pretty simple, but a lot of people are excited to finally see this option. It's for the navigation links. So let's go in and take a look. We're gonna click on the edit button here on the quick launch navigation. And I'm going to add a new link. Now, if you've done this before, you are used to seeing the um, option, whether it's a link or a title, the address and the display name, and those are the only things you typically see here. Now we have this new option to open in a new tab, and that's what people are excited about. So let's see what it worked like, or maybe still does if you don't have this in your tenant just yet. So I'm gonna put in a link and put in a name and I'm just gonna say okay. This is how it has been working for a very long time and I'll save that. So when you click on those navigation links, that classic way, they open whatever you're linking to in the same tab. And so especially if you're linking to another site, maybe um, a completely separate website, you run the risk of users getting confused and not being sure how to get back. Um, even though we know that you can click the back button, we know a lot of users would like to see very clearly where they were before. So, so now we have this option where, I'm gonna wait here until I get my edit button, and then I am going to now edit this link, and I'm gonna select that open in a new tab, and say okay. Again, if you don't see that checkbox yet uh, on your navigation menus, it is rolling out now in October 2022, so you should be seeing it soon. Click Save. And now, when you click that same link, it opens a new tab, and hopefully that'll be a little more obvious to the end user that they can look at this page and then just close it and be back where they were before. So it's a very simple, subtle thing, but uh, it may be helpful for your end users if they get confused with the old way of opening those links in the same tab. Now you have the option to open in a new tab. I hope this helps.